Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show with your host, Bill Shelton. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. In 2004, the Ryder Cup will be held at the Oakland Hills Country Club in Detroit, Michigan. And when you talk about the history of the Ryder Cup, one individual's name pops up very frequently, and that's our guest today, Walter Hagen. Welcome, Walter. Well, thank you for having me back here again. Walter, you were a captain six times. You played in the Ryder Cup five times, and you were there at the beginning. And indeed, it was a beginning because there was no such thing as a Ryder Cup when you first participated in international competition. Well, that's right. That's right. Uh, there was the Walker Cup, which was for the amateurs. But uh, at this point in time in golf, there really was a shift between the prominence between amateur and professionalism. After my match with Bobby Jones, people began to see that professionals really had something to offer to the, the game of golf. Uh, additionally, we were starting to get some, um, some challenges from the British golf pros to come over there and play and, and see exactly how our game stacked up against them. So during one Walker Cup, a few of, uh, a few of my friends came out there uh, with me and I remember the name of Sam Ryder was there. And Sam was, uh, he was a man who got his riches through the selling of uh, seeds, actually, interesting enough. He, instead of selling uh, seeds in bulk, he sold uh, flower seeds in little packets, and he made millions of dollars off that, and he took uh, quite a liking to golf. So in 19, uh, 1926, we went out there and had an informal tournament out there, and, uh, and we were uh, somewhat trounced by the British contingent. But I remember he said, we must do this again sometime, and that led us to coming over in 1927 for the matches here. Um, the, it, was, uh, it was the beginning of it, which would eventually be known as the Ryder Cup as he became our benefactor for it. That event now has taken place 33 different times over the 72 years. There's been a couple of stoppages because of the war, but it has become the premier event uh, in golf today. Well, it's true, uh, and partially because it is uh, essentially North America versus uh, Europe now, originally Britain, uh, and also the way it's played. It's played in a, in a different format than, than most most of the matches are played. It has a little more of an individual flair to it while still maintaining a team feel to it. The concept of match play, which as you said really isn't used very much today, this is probably the tournament that uses match play, allowed you to make decisions about your different players during the time that you were captain uh, to offset the, the, the team from the other side of the, of the pond, as we would say. And you seem to always have a little bit of extra confidence when you went over there to play in the, the, the tournaments. And most of the time it came true, but a few times there were some problems. Well, I, I was known for more than one occasion saying we were going to win over there. And, uh, uh, they, they were quite a tough, uh, tough group of people there. Uh, they were good players at the time, and they were playing on their own home course there. So it was, uh, it was uh, a little boastful at times, but most of the time I could back up what I said with, with it. And if not at that point in time, I simply always proved it later on. Well, as we know, the uh, Europeans had been sending players over to America to play in different events here, and they thought that they literally could dominate. And you had had some head-to-head -head competition with some of those European players. So the Ryder Cup really gave you time to match one nation against, uh, indeed, Europe. And it seemed like you relished that opportunity and wanted to play that lead role in putting that together. Well, very much like match play, which I relished, the idea of competition against the, the British Isles was very intriguing to me. There's nothing like playing against someone. A lot of times when you play some of these other tournaments, you're playing against several players who will come and go. But in match play, it's you and your opponent. And you play them square up, hole after hole, doing whatever you can to win. And so it had a certain similar feeling to that when we were playing the Ryder Cups. The Ryder Cup has been held in, in America 17 times, never at the same club twice. In 2004, it will be held at the Oakland Hills Country Club here in Detroit. A Donald Ross course, Robert Trent Jones in the 50s uh, did some modifications, and uh, Arthur Hills uh, recently has done some other tweaking of that course. But that's a course you're very familiar with because you were both a pro there and you played numerous tournaments there. That's a good test of golf for both the European and the Americans. 
It is. It's one of the more prestigious courses here in Michigan. And, and the layout is really amazing. And I think it'll really give the golfers of today quite a challenge, quite a run for their money. And you know, I believe it'll be fair to both the Americans and the Europeans as far as the way it plays. Well, it should be an exciting time, and I know that you will be there, at least in spirit, to, to watch the competition, a competition that you were involved in from the very start as you made the American professional golf scene what it really is today. And as always, it's a pleasure to hear your stories and, and memories about the, about the Ryder Cup. Well, thank you. And as of course, as always, I'll guarantee a win. You heard it from The Hague. America wins the Ryder Cup in 2004.